So that's one way of, of dealing with things. And the other way is what the majority of people have, are doing it. And we've all been there before. I've been there before of cooking and really going to this thing and bringing it into my own uh, consciousness over and over and I'm really cooking over it and, and going through all these mental processes that life is cruel and life sucks and life is unfair and it didn't go my way and ah oh, this or ah oh, that or pointing our fingers at whatever situation, maybe the real estate broker or putting my finger at the woman that I was interested to meet up and saying, oh, she's insecure or she is not ready for love or this is wrong with her and that is wrong with her and her heart's not open. That's why she's afraid to dive into this with me and marry me and blah, 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 blah. I'm pointing out my finger at her. Blaming somebody else. Instead of just simply, maybe it's true, maybe she's afraid, she can't dive into it, or she, whatever it is. But the final verdict is that she said, no, she doesn't want to marry me. And from a higher consciousness, I process it, I go through it, I feel the heartbreak, I feel the disappointment, but then it's finished. You don't carry this with you to the next day and the next day and the next week and the next month. Because simply what happens is you suffer. But now you just have this wisdom that this thing didn't go my way, and then you say, okay, the spirit that I trust in life, I trust, obviously didn't find this suitable for me. So there is a wisdom in it that it didn't go my way. And I accept it. Then you don't suffer. And we all get this opportunity every day. You get it, if you don't get it today, you get it tomorrow. That something happens. That doesn't go your way and you just let it go. Hilda, do you feel like this was, did I answer your question? Yes, you did, thank you. Right. Thank it, you. Is, Anybody else have any questions? Surrender, surrender, surrender. And the trust, trusting life and I think it doesn't matter at what stage in your life you are. I believe that existence will challenge you and put you in these situations that whether it's a life-threatening situation that you're in it or something happened to somebody you love, and is close to you and creates life-threatening situations or financial threatening situations that you may lose financially um, or losing relationship or friendship or something. Um, that life creates that on a regular basis and tests you, especially if you're on a spiritual path. Because when you're on the spiritual path and you're, 
you ha what happens is when you come to the spiritual path and you start to develop you're developing and a part of your development is that you begin to understand the communication you begin to hear your inner voice and, and develop this communication link between yourself and the higher self or the spirit or God or the forces that governing universe, your guides. So a link is developed. And now there is, you hear things, they talk to you. And when I say they, there is no they because it's all part of yourself. But I have to put it in, in dual world, I need to put it in some kind of way that it's understandable. So what happens is the real guru, the master, your guru, the master is within yourself. But we are not developed enough to be able to hear the voice and communicate with the teacher, with the master, within ourselves, because it's here. So, as you get more conscious and get sensitive and you start to expand, then what happens is you start to notice and you begin to speak about your inner voice. Say your gut feeling. Your gut feeling, your inner voice is telling you not to do something or not to do that. Okay? But you have to be careful because there's a lot of people on spiritual path in the new age world, new age spirituality, that they're mistaken their inner voice with the voice of the ego. And they're relating their inner voice to their ego. And that's a dangerous place. So you have to slowly distinguish these two from each other. That is it my ego commanding to me or it's my real inner voice? Which one is it? And as you develop, you will tell, you know the difference. If you're sincere and you're honest with yourself, you can tell the difference. It takes time, but you will discover it. You know if you're ego tripping or you really it's really coming from the very core of your being. So you're going forward, you're developing, and in this development, what happens is you start to hear the voice. And the voice is leading you. Slowly, 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 the connection gets stronger and stronger. So the communication line gets deeper. And as you advance, so what happens is now you know if you do something wrong, something inappropriate, according to your level of consciousness. I'm not talking about morality. And I'm not talking about legal stuff. I'm not talking about what society perceives as right or wrong. I'm talking about what your inner self is dictating as the right thing for you in the level of consciousness you're at. Because you may be here and something's something, you do something, but you may be here and you do the same thing you did here, but now you will get the Zen stick. 